In this video, we are going to learn how to use chemical similarity and diversity tools. Let's open our dataset first. It contains 1000 random molecules from the Campbell database. To launch the similarity tool, go to Chem Similarity Search. A reference molecule appears, uh, which uh, by default uh, is synchronized with the current record, and then uh, in the list below, uh, you'll see molecules similar to the reference one sorted by the similarity score. So to change the reference molecule, just click on a different cell and uh, you'll see that uh, these molecules are sort of uh, similar to the reference one. Uh, for uh, the similarity score, we use a metric that is based on the Tanimoto score uh, against uh, the specified uh, fingerprints. Uh, everything is uh, customizable, uh, but we will not go uh, that deep uh, in this video. Uh, an alternative way to change the reference molecule would be to click uh, on the molecule in that list, uh, which allows us to sort of uh, drill down uh, in our dataset and find uh, different classes of molecules. Another way to change the reference molecule is to sketch it. So just click on sketch, start drawing your molecules, and uh, similar molecules appear automatically. A similar tool <laughs> to similarity search is a diversity search. Well, I would say it's actually the opposite tool. Uh, what it does uh, is that uh, it finds uh, 10 most uh, different molecules uh, in our dataset using the same metric uh, Tanimoto score uh, against the fingerprints. So it uh, shows us different examples of a different classes of molecules that exist in our dataset, uh, which is a powerful tool for uh, figuring out what's in the dataset. So we will just click on different classes and uh, uh, see different examples of it. This is it for uh, this video. In the following videos, we will discuss how to run a similarity search and substructure search uh, against uh, databases. Thank you.